Hey guys, so I just got my Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and I thought let me make a video and show you guys the settings and the features that you should tweak and turn on your brand new Galaxy S23 Ultra to get a better experience because right now out of the box the phone is kind of boring. So we will make some useful changes and make the phone look awesome. So let's start the video. Okay. So once you finish the initial setup on your phone, this is how it's gonna look like. So this is pretty bare bones, there's really nothing on the phone right now. So the first change we are gonna make is to add the brightness slider to the drop down notification panel. You can see it's not there on the Astro N3 Ultra and to get the brightness slider, drop down the notification panel, tap on these three dots and then select quick panel layout. Then tap on brightness control and select show always. And now you will have the brightness control in the drop down notification panel and this cuts down on one extra step because you don't have to drop this thing all the way down just to change the brightness. The next thing you should do is turn on dark mode. So right now the system theme is white and that puts a lot of glare and strain on the eyes. And if you are using your phone in darkness, this white theme will not be easy on your eyes. So here's what I want you guys to do. Drop down the notification panel, go to settings, tap on display and change this from light to dark. And this will change the controls of the phone from white to dark which are arguably more pleasing on eyes especially if you are using your phone at night. I would also recommend that you change the way the phone display notification on the lock screen. So by default the phone does not show you the content of the notification, it only shows you the icons. You have to tap on this and then the phone will show you the detailed notification and I feel this is counterintuitive because it requires one extra step of tapping these icons just to see the notification. So we can actually change this. Drop down the notification panel, go to settings, scroll down to lock screen, then tap on notification and change this from icon only to details. And now you will see notification in the detail on the lock screen and if you don't want to see the content of the notification, you can always enable hide content and then notification content will be hidden. By the way, you can also change the clock that appears on the lock screen. Let me show you how. So while you are in the lock screen setting, tap on the clock style and from over here you can change how the clock appear on the lock screen. You can even have an analog clock, so I think this one looks nice. So there you go, we have a nice colorful clock on the lock screen. As you can see I have also changed the wallpaper and speaking of the wallpaper, you can actually apply a dark mode to the wallpaper itself. The way you do this is by pinching in, tap on wallpaper and style scroll down and you will show an option over here apply dark mode to the wallpaper so this will dim the wallpaper as you can see i like to keep this on because it reduces the strain and glare on my eyes so here is a fun fact for you guys if you tap on the clock that appears on the lock screen that will open up the lock screen widgets so here you have got a couple of widgets you have got the music player widget, you can seek through the song of weather widgets, the calendar widgets, alarms, voice recorder and the digital well-being widgets. You can actually customize these by tapping on the settings and enabling or disabling them from there. If you want to make the phone a little bit more legible on your Samsung device, do this. Drop down the notification panel, go to settings, tap on display, scroll down to the font size and style and turn on bold font. And this makes the font a little bit bold and that kind of makes the font a little bit more legible and if you want you can also change the fonts so tap on the font style and select one from here if you want more tap on download fonts and that will make you to the galaxy store my favorite one is the samsung sans i think this is really nice font one more thing that i don't like is the way that samsung has arranged all these icons in an app drawer I kind of prefer all of these to be alphabetical order because that makes it very easy to search for a particular app. So if you want to change the way these are sorted, tap on these three dots, select sort and then select alphabetical order. I think that alphabetical order is better. And also I think these icons are a little bit too big. I think we can fit more icons on the home screen as well as the app drawer. To fit more icons, pinch in on the home screen and then go to settings, tap on the home screen grid. Right now, it is set to 4 into 5. That has 4 icons horizontally and 5 icons vertically. I prefer 5 into 6 that have 
five icons horizontally and six icons vertically. So this option will give you a lot of space to fit your widgets and icons on the home screen. As far as the app drawer, let's go back into settings and then tap on app screen grid. Once again, I prefer five into six that has five icons horizontally and six icons vertically. And this allows us to fit a lot more icons on a single page in our app drawer. So this is personal choice and it's totally up to you, but yeah, this is what I prefer. Now that we are done with the basic customization of the phone, let me show you some useful widgets that you might want to add on your home screen. But before that, you have to customize how the home screen looks like. So by default, there are only two home screens. I kind of prefer having three home screens because that will allow me to add a couple of useful widgets. So to customize, pinch in and we will add another home screen over here and make this our main home screen by tapping over here. So what I have done is I have removed all the icons and now we have three empty home screen to customize. So let's start adding widgets. Pinch in, tap on widgets and the first widget I want to add is the calendar widget. I think I'm going to add this one because this one shows the month and the upcoming appointments and this will be on my left home screen. Now I want to make this transparent so in settings I'm going to switch off the match with dot board select black and adjust the transparency so that looks nice all right so what i have done is i have added all these widgets so that i don't waste your time showing you how to add each and every one of these but let me quickly explain the functionality of these widgets so here we have got the list view of the calendar this one will show you all your upcoming events and appointment and you can create a new one just by tapping on the plus button and you can find this under widgets calendar and here is the list view we have got the samsung health widget and this is a parameter and this will count how many steps you have taken then we have got the digital well-being widgets and this one will show you your screen on time and for how long you have been using the apps on your smartphone then we have got the countdown timer again you will find this under the calendar and this will count the days down for a specific event. On the second page, we have got the dual clock widget. You can set this to show time for two different countries. Then we have got the weather forecast widget and I have also added the Samsung notes widget. And I think this is the single most useful widget on the phone because this will let you take notes with a single tap. And finally, on the last page, I have got the Gmail widget, which shows me all the new mails that arrives in my inbox. And tapping on this, I can create a new mail. So extremely useful. By the way, if you are wondering, all of these widgets are pre-installed on every Samsung phone. So you will have all of these available right off the box on your Galaxy S23 Ultra. By the way, I have left some empty spaces here on purpose so that I can add icons of application that I use frequently. All right, let's move on. You can also hide the navigation bar that appears on the bottom of the screen. And this has a couple of advantage. Mainly, it will give you a little bit more screen real estate area for your content. So let me show you how. Drop down the notification panel, go to settings, tap on display, scroll down towards the navigation bar and over here change this from buttons to swipe gesture. While you are here at this, also disable gesture hints and show buttons to hide keyboard. If you don't disable show buttons to hide, keyboard will always get this black bar at the bottom of the screen whenever your keyboard is open. So you should disable this if you want the keyboard to fit properly on your screen. So swipe gestures are awesome. It will turn the edges of your screen into the back key. So just swipe like this to go back. And swiping in from the bottom will take to the home screen. And if you swipe up and hold that will open up your recents. So you should turn on swipe gesture if you want a better full screen experience on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. The keyboard I am using on my Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is the Shift key keyboard and you can download the Shift key keyboard from the Play Store. And I think this is far superior keyboard compared to what Samsung has to offer. So this keyboard is awesome. It's got plenty of features, but the feature that I really like are the built-in themes. You can choose a one that matches your mode. I prefer the carbon dark yellow and you can even create your own theme using your own photos. So this is awesome. Samsung Galaxy smartphone have a feature that lights up the edges of the screen whenever the phone receive a new notification and this makes the phone looks awesome, especially at night. But by default, this feature is disabled. So you will have to turn it on. Let me show you how. Drop down the notification panel, go to settings, then tap on the notification. First off, make sure that the notification pop-up style is set to brief. 
then tap on brief pop-up settings and then tap on the edge lighting style from this just pick the edge lighting style that you would like and i absolutely love the glitter lighting style because it looks so cool and in settings i like to make it a little bit wide and change the duration from short to long because it will stay on for a little bit longer now whenever the phone gets a new notification the edge of the screen will light up like this Samsung smartphone have a feature called edge panel and these will give you an easy access to your favorite apps, screenshot tools and a lot more. Let me show you how this works. The location of the edge panel is shown by this white line over here and this is called the edge panel handle. And you can swipe in like this to open up the edge panel. Right now there is only a single edge panel because we have to configure them. So here is what I want you guys to do. Drop down the notification panel, go to settings, tap on display, scroll down to the edge panel, then tap on panels. By default, the app's edge panel will be enabled, but you can enable many more edge panels from here. So I want you guys to enable the smart select edge panel, the weather panel, tools and the reminder edge panel. These are just the basic edge panels on your phone and if you want more tap on the Galaxy Store and you can browse all of the free edge panel available for download. So I have just downloaded the calendar and the calculator panel from the Galaxy Store so check this out. If I swipe in like this I get these edge panels. Now we have all these different edge panels available for you so this is the compass so you can tap on these three dots and select different tools. You can also have the ruler so this is really really nice the next one is calendar and the calculator panel but the best part of these edge panel is that they are always available so it doesn't matter what you are doing on the phone whenever you swipe in like this you will always have edge panel available for use the smart select edge panel is one of my favorite one because if you select the screenshot option this will let you extract the text of screenshot so if you have just taken a screenshot and if you tap on the T button that will extract the text out of that screenshot. How amazing is that guys? Edge panel is something that you should start using right now on your Galaxy smartphone. By the way you can customize this edge panel handle as well. So we will go back into the edge panel tap on handles and this will let you place the handle a little bit down over here and you can also change its size and make it completely transparent so you don't have that white line over there but yeah the edge panel handle is still there so i would suggest that you tweak these settings according to your liking if you don't use the bixby then you might want to change the behavior of this button because if you long press this that will launch the Bixby personal assistant and if you are like me who don't use the Bixby then you can change the behavior of this button. So drop down the notification panel, go to settings, scroll down to the advanced feature then tap on side key. Under press and hold change this from wake Bixby to power off menu. And now when you long press this button that will give you power off menu instead of the launching Bixby. So if you don't use the Bixby, you should absolutely do this. You can always add your name, custom message or your contact information to the lock screen. The way you do this is by dropping down the notification panel, going into settings, scroll down to the lock screen and then tap on contact information and type in whatever you want over there. You can even type in emojis. So now the phone is going to show emojis on the lock screen. So that is a little bit customization tip for you all. Also, someone was asking me, how do you disable these application icons that pop up whenever you open up your recents? Well, for that, tap on these three dots, select settings and disable show recommended apps. And now the phone will not show these application whenever you open up your recents. And lastly, open up your Galaxy Store, tap on these three lines and tap on the updates and update all of the Samsung app on your smartphone. So this will update all of your built-in apps such as Gallery, Samsung Files and every other Samsung app on your smartphone. And for the final thing that you should do is check for updates. So go into the settings, scroll all the way down, tap on software updates and then tap on download and install. As you can see, I don't have any other software updates. So definitely if the update will be available, be sure to update it as soon as possible because they will include bug fixes and product improvement. All right, guys, that is it in this particular video. I hope this video has helped you out in some way. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.